Have you ever had a bad day? One that maybe didn't start out that bad, but somehow you managed to just work yourself into a completely foul mood. Jeremy Tracy here with Tracy Crokinole Boards, and today, nice shot. That was me. My day started out not too bad. I had great aspirations. Ah great aspirations of uh, cranking out another video for the YouTube channel. Really enjoy that. So I have my idea. I sat down to do that video to start writing the script and it just wouldn't come together. It just, it just wouldn't click. It wouldn't jive and I could feel myself getting frustrated. So that's when the mental chatter started and I'm like, why did I take off yesterday afternoon to go play disc golf? If I had just worked through, I know it was Christmas week, but if I had just worked through, I would have been in a better position to make good use out of today. Mac's gonna be here soon, so I'm right in the middle of that little self-pity party when Nolan walks up to me and says, hey dad, I think we just ran out of stock on turquoise buttons. What? I'm like, can't be. There has to be, right? right? There has to be some out in the garage with the other buttons that Elaine just hasn't sorted through yet. So go out into the garage. At this point, my stress level is going up a little more. Go out into the garage and start looking. And of course, I'm tripping over Christmas boxes. I'm tripping over something that I asked Reed to clean up and I guess he didn't. And my frustration levels go up even higher. So a little FYI, behind the scenes, there are definitely pros and cons to having a family business pros and cons to working with family. And here we go with a life skill, a life hack, if you will. This is a pro tip from Jer. If your very first words to your spouse in the morning are something along the lines of, how the hell do we run out of turquoise buttons? Uh-oh. <laughs> right? So what happened next? Well, let's keep this let's keep this PG on the channel, and I won't get into too many details. But uh, basically, then there was an impromptu business meeting about how we can uh, we can avoid this, and uh, yeah, some some less than friendly conversation. But eventually, my awesome, incredible wife looked at me, and at this point, I'm a little scared, and she says, "Do you know what you should do?" I'm like, "Yes, dear." She says, "Why don't you sit down and play some crocodile?" That always cheers you up. So Mac's first order of business when he got here this morning was to sit down and play crokinole with me. And it is already working. So your skills, your pointer, your life tip that we have for you this morning is one, it is always a good idea to have a spouse or a significant other or someone in your life who is, hey, hey, who is kind enough to tell you what you need to hear, maybe more so than what you want to hear. The other life skill is that when the stress levels get the better of you, it is always a good idea to sit down at the board, flick your cares away, and make it a great day. <laughs> that, that shot cheers me up. <laughs> Want me to start? Okay, game on. Then we... It's dialed in now. Nice. And it work for this. Yeah, you gotta 
uh, Kareem Hunt and Pug.
Not what I want here to go, but pretty much what I want to find to go. You might have it here or half a wall, I don't know. There's definitely nothing here. But yeah, that's what I'm just going to do. You're probably going to want to go half a wall on, on this side. I can do a jerk and just drop my butt. I'm not going to. Even better, eh? Yeah, that's the option, mate. It's less important to go half hole if you want to lose everything. Yeah. But if you want to hit the stick, you pretty much got to go half hole. Yeah. Woo. You could just eliminate your super speeds. You got some great shots, but yeah, you definitely had some super speeds. Merry Christmas! Nice!